pretty. So, um, it looks really bad, but ignore that. Um, just hopping on to do a little meal prep. Um, I'm not actually gonna really prep as much right now, um, but just show you how I meal prep, I guess, if that makes sense. Gosh, that looks terrible. Um, so, I can't seem to turn this around, so I guess I'll just hold up stuff. I'm going to be making, um, some burgers for the next few days. Just some better lighting here. Um, so this is my grass-fed meat. Um, ideally, you want to get the meat that is higher in fat. Um, but I really like these because um, you get more meat out of it um, than you do with like 85 and 15 ratio. So I guess personal preference. Um, so I'm gonna make some burgers and then I'm going to do my famous beef and broccoli. So I just bought like these beef strips at the store and then um, steamable broccoli. Um, and I'll do that. One thing that has come in very, very handy for me um, when I'm trying to figure out my macros is a food scale. And I got this little ditty at, um, off Amazon. It wasn't very much, it's like 12 bucks, I think. Maybe not even that. And you can like set it to, um, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but you can set it to whatever unit you need. So like mil, um, pounds, grams, um, ounces. So then I can like measure um, and see how much I'm actually eating. Cause um, one thing about this way of eating, uh, you don't have too much protein. So like on the Atkins diet, um, I think you're allowed to have more protein, but if you're doing keto, they want you to have more fat for sure. So, it's easy to kind of go overboard in protein, I think, and um, ideally for women, um, three ounces of protein would be great. Um, I don't know, I can't remember if that's per meal or what, but you don't want to get too much protein because you can go into a process called gluconeogenesis, which basically your body converts the protein back to glucose. So it's kind of negating, but what we're doing because um, we don't want to have a lot of glucose we want to be producing ketones so I think a food scale is very important for this um, to make sure we're not getting too much protein um, and then for like tracking if you really want to keep track of what you're eating um, my fitness pal is great for this but then you can like put in an actual amount if that makes sense so once I cook my beef and broccoli I will measure out um, about three ounces of meat and um, probably about the same for broccoli keep it in my little bag uh, or my little container I have this lovely bag here I don't know what company it is but it's kind of cool and um, it came with all these little cute Tupperware thingies, so I can put them in there and have my little meal meal bag to take to work. Um, I'm also going to separate out um, for lunch the next few days um, just some cheddar crisps and walnuts based on their serving sizes, uh, so I can track those. But real quickly, I wanted to show you guys um, a new meal I've been working on. I've had a few days. Um, it's really good. It's really easy. It's like a hobo meal where you just kind of put anything and everything in it. Um, but this one is geared keto style. So you'll take um, your ground beef. Um, you'll take some broccoli, onion, peppers, and then um, I 
some people put cheese on it. I wasn't really a big fan, but then you can kind of season it with whatever. So I definitely use my pink salt. Um, I use some garlic salt. And then, um, like for the meat, I might use like um, just a meat tenderizer or something. Um, and then kind of like put it all together. So cut up your peppers and your onions um, and your broccoli. Um, put as much as you want on a piece of tin foil and then put maybe like half a pound of hamburger on it. Um, put all your seasonings on it, wrap it up. You can put it in the oven. Um, I did mine on the fire. Um, or I think you can put it on the grill too. And um, it comes out and it's all mixed together and it's really good. Really, really good. And it really fills you up. Um, but also just be careful with the amount of like meat you put on there. You don't want to go over three ounces. Um, veggies are okay. It's better to get your carbs from like the veggies, honestly, if you need carbs during the day um, than it is from anything else. So um, that's just a quick hobo meal that I have been eating and really liking. Um, I'm going to have to come up with some new recipes and then come back on and show you guys because I feel like I just have the same ones that I kind of refer to like I'll make my sausage egg and cheese casserole um, every now and then and then I'll make beef and broccoli almost every week um, burgers almost every week some kind of chicken every week um, and yeah I think I need some new recipes so I'm kind of working on that um, so I can bring something new instead of what I always eat. Um, if you are meal prepping, um, boiled eggs are great, tuna salad, make sure it's with dill relish, um, just for snacks to have around. Um, I feel like there's something else I was going to show you. Bless you, but I don't remember. Um... I guess not because I don't remember what it was um so kind of brief video sorry guys um but I will be back on later hopefully um, with a gym video um, and then I'll work on some recipes and post some recipes up later as well, um, I work the next 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 days in a row. <laughs> so I might be a little scattered here and there posting stuff, um, but I will try to post either some tips or advice or um, like just some workout clips and um, some recipes as well um, so if you guys ever have any questions don't hesitate to message me um, I'll ha happily talk to you guys about this um, I'm definitely no expert or anything but I'm really enjoying this and I really like to help people if this is something that you really want to um, pursue I'd be glad to help you um, to learn like the ins and outs of this way of eating. So with that being said, I think I'm gonna um, take a nap um, and meal prep later and I will post some stuff up later and uh, hope you guys have a good afternoon.